For today's video, we are going to discuss how to find the derivatives of a function using quotient rule. And we are going to use the formula, the derivative of u over v, that is v u prime minus u v prime all over v square. So this is the formula that we are going to use in order for us to find the derivative of a function using quotient rule. So let's start and let's have an example. On number one, what is the derivative of 7x plus 4 all over x squared plus 5? So to simplify this one, let us identify the value of u. u, that is the numerator, and that is 7x plus 4. And then u prime, that is the derivative of 7x plus 4, that is 7. And then v, that is the denominator, and that is x squared plus 5. And then v prime, that is the derivative of x squared plus 5, and that is 2x. And then let us have the formula v u prime minus u v prime all over v square. So let us simplify. The value of v, that is x square plus 5. And then u prime, that is 7 minus u that is 7x plus 4, and then v prime, that is 2x, all over v, that is x square plus 5 square. So let us simplify. 7 multiplied by x square, that is 7x square, and 7 times 5, that is 35. And 2x times 7x, that is 14x squared, times negative, that is negative 14x squared. And then, 2x multiplied by 4, that is 8x times negative, that is negative 8x. And then, we have a square of binomial. x squared multiplied by itself, that is x raised to the fourth. x squared times 5, that is 5x squared, times the constant 2. That is 10x squared. And 5 multiplied by itself, that is 25. And to write our final answer, 7x squared minus 14x squared, that is negative 7x squared. And then let us have negative 8x plus 35 over x raised to the fourth plus 10x squared plus 25. This will be our answer. And then on number 2, what is the derivative of x squared over x plus 5? So let us have u, and that is x squared, and then u prime, that is the derivative of x squared, that is 2x. And then v, that is x minus 5, and v prime, that is the derivative of of x minus 5 and that is 1. So let us have v u prime minus u v prime all over v square. So v that is x minus 5 and then u prime that is 2x minus u that is x square and then v prime that is 1 and then v square that is x minus 5 and then square. So let us simplify. 2x multiplied by x is 2x cubed, 2x squared. And 2x times negative 5, that is negative 10x. And then negative x squared all over, let us simplify this one. x times to itself is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x times the constant 2 is negative 10x. Negative 5 multiplied by itself is 25. So let us have 2x squared minus x squared, that is x squared, minus 10x over x squared minus 10x plus 25. And this will be our answer. On number 3, what is the derivative of cosine x over sine x? So the fastest way to answer this question is to take the identity of cosine x over sine x, and that is the derivative of cotangent x. 
and the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. And this will be our answer. But how can we find the derivative of cosine x over sine x using the formula of quotient? So let us have u, that is the numerator, that is cosine x, and u prime, that is the derivative of cosine, and that is negative sine x. And then v, that is sine x, and the derivative of sine that is cosine x. And let us have the formula v u prime minus u v prime all over v square. So let us have v that is sine x and then u prime that is negative sine x and then let us have u that is cosine x and then v prime that is cosine x all over v that is sine x and then square so let us have sine x multiplied by negative sine x it will give us negative sine squared x and then negative cosine x times cosine x that is negative cosine squared x over sine squared x and to simplify this one let us write this one as negative 1 times sine squared x plus cosine squared x over sine squared x and we all know that sine squared x plus cosine squared x using Pythagorean identity that is equals to 1 and 1 multiplied by negative 1 is, that's right here, that is negative 1 over sine squared x. And the identity of negative 1 over sine squared x, that is negative cosecant squared x. And this will be our answer. Let's see. What about the number 4? What is the derivative of sine x over cosine x? Sine x over cosine x, that is tangent. And the derivative of tangent is secant squared x. And this will be our answer. But let us apply the formula for the quotient tool. So let us have u, and that is sine x. And then u prime, that is cosine x. And then v, that is the denominator, that is cosine x. And v prime, that is the derivative of cosine, that is negative sine x. So let us have the formula v u prime minus u v prime over v square. So let us have v, that is cosine x. And then u prime, that is cosine x minus u that is sine x and then v prime that is negative sine x all over v that is cosine x squared so cosine x times itself that is cosine squared x negative sine x times negative sine x that is positive sine squared x all over cosine squared x and then using Pythagorean identity, cosine squared x plus sine squared x, that is 1. And then cosine squared x. And 1 over cosine squared x, that is second squared x. And we come up with the same answer. Number 5, what is the derivative of 1 over cosine x? 1 over cosine, that is... Second x and the derivative of second x that is second x tangent x, and this will be our answer. But how can we apply quotient to in finding the derivative of 1 over cosine x? So let us have u that is numerator that is 1 and u prime that is 0, and then 
we have v that is cosine x and v prime that is the derivative of cosine and that is negative sine x and then let us have the formula v u prime minus u v prime over v square so let us have v and that is cosine x and u prime that is zero minus u that is one and then v prime that is negative sine x over cosine x and then square so cosine x times zero so we're not going to write this one and negative one times negative sine x that is positive sine x and then let us have cosine x raised to 2 that is cosine squared x so let us write this one so let us write sine and then let us separate cosine squared x as cosine x times cosine x it will give us sine x over cosine x multiplied by 1 over cosine x so therefore sine x over cosine x that is tangent x times 1 over cosine x and 1 over cosine that is second x times tangent x and this will be our answer so i hope you will learn from this video Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.